So scale becomes very important. The size of this, the proportions of it next to something else, um, you know, that, that becomes critical. So the 100 macro really allows us to do that without a lot of compression we would get from a 200 or so, and without any distortion we might get from something wider than a 50. So rarely will I photograph any commercial tabletop assignment wider than a 50 millimeter. Like I said, my go-to is the 100 macro. A macro lens, I think, is very important. You may also want to use extension tubes or close-up filters as well because you need to focus closer many times for this type of work. So our camera is very close to that product to get it to have it fill the frame. It may be a very you know small object like a necklace or a ring, and it needs to fill the frame. So we're focusing at short distances. Therefore, a macro is imperative. Another thing that's imperative when we get into commercial photography is the color. In portrait photography, color, it's important, don't get me wrong, but if my skin was a little off or this shirt wasn't the gray that it's supposed to be in a portrait, it's not going to be the end of the sale or the end of that job. It's, it's going to be acceptable. But when it comes to commercial, that's not acceptable. Spot on is what's acceptable. So some type of color checker like this that you can use software with that can really make sure your colors are spot on accurate. Um, going old school with a gray card also helps you have a neutral, uh, normal color that's it's known. Um, so with this known value, you can always use your software to go back and make everything match up to a known value. So proper white balance is imperative. So these are great things to have in your gearbox as well. Um, I like to use, here I have a remote camera release. I do that. My camera is on a strong support, whether it be a camera stand or a nice sturdy tripod. I want to minimize any movement. A lot of times we'll be doing multiple images of the same set with small tweaks in design and composition changes throughout. So I want to make sure my camera stays in the exact same location with minimal movement. So strong support and a camera release helps me do that. Um, also photograph tethered to all of my commercial assignments in the studio here. Um, so I've got an external monitor, my laptop, my tether cables. And so what this allows me to do is once an image is captured, it goes straight to the computer. The software, we can look at it, we can check the color, we can check the sharpness, the depth of field, the design, the composition. And many times there's someone else on set 